everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we're in Buffalo, New York. Yes, Buffalo, New York. Outside Lloyd, yes, Lloyd Taco Factory, guys. Here doing a giant burrito challenge. But this is a very special burrito. This is actually a chicken and waffle burrito. Yes, chicken and waffles in a burrito. Can you believe it? I can't, but I'm super excited. So for this challenge, we're gonna have 30 minutes to complete what is the equivalent of about six or six and a half or seven of their burritos. Um, total weight is going to be, I think, upwards of about seven pounds. Um, but nonetheless, definitely a big burrito. Sounds really delicious. So what's actually on the burrito? So we have delicious buttermilk fried chicken. We have a whole bunch of their seasoned rice. We have crispy, like, waffle bits. Um, so yes, literally chicken and waffles in the burrito. We then have a bacon aioli. We have a maple syrup. We have a, what they call a chimney sauce. Uh, we have kale, we have cabbage, um, we have all kinds of delicious sound of things. So this place is super well known. They were actually Buffalo's first food truck and then they've uh, upgraded to like multiple brick and mortars which is super exciting. So yeah, nonetheless, I'm pumped to be back in the area. It's a beautiful time to be here in Buffalo and uh, I'm excited. I heard this is really good food, never tried it. So giant burritos. Let's get a rockin', let's get a rollin'. Place is also known for like supporting a lot of local uh, ingredients, using local ingredients when they can. Also like a lot of organic stuff, non-GMO, they make all their sauces. Um, so yeah, pretty cool, but uh, let's go eat. So it's fun, and let's go eat some food. Everyone, so here we are with the burritos. They are absolutely, absolutely giant. Um, I gotta say, mine is just falling apart a little bit more guys, but these are huge, I mean this is, this is bigger than a baby. But like we said, guys, the biggest or the dirtiest Dirty South burrito. So like we said, the biggest, world's biggest chicken and waffle burrito. I didn't even know chicken and waffle burritos were a thing prior to this. So I think that's super, super awesome. So on here we have, again, like the um, chicken thighs and we have all the waffles, uh, maple syrup, bacon aioli. They make all their sauces all scratch. It looks delicious different sauces here. They have like a big market for sauces. They sell them locally in like the Wagmans, the Tops. Um, but also on Amazon, we have their uh, Big Daddy barbecue sauce. I asked for that specifically because it's like a Carolina mustard. I love that kind of style sauce. And then we have, which definitely are more suiting, their Roja, so like a salsa. And then their Rocket sauce, which is their hot sauce. So, you know, I'm all about that chicken and waffles. I like a little bit of heat, a little bit of spice. George, how about we get started? We'll say the count of five, Four, three, two, one. Let us eat. Mm. Mm. That bacon is holy. Fried chicken. The rice is really well flavored with two actually. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are here at Lloyd's, yes, Lloyd's in Buffalo, New York, taking on the dirtiest Dirty South burrito. I also taste the hot sauce. Pretty spicy. Delicious, Delicious right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, really good flavor. So this burrito is, well, one, they're absolutely massive, as you can tell, but super unique. I mean, a chicken and waffle burrito. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Because I definitely had not. And they cover all the bases. I'm trying to make it not fall apart. But great flavors. Super fresh, just that chicken. Like we said, you get maple syrup, you get crispy waffles, you get a delicious, succulent, juicy fried chicken. So I gotta say, super cool, super, super cool. And they're actually Buffalo's first food truck, which is really kind of a cool acc accolade and now ultimately brick and mortar status. So congratulations to them on all that. I'm gonna open mine up and just eat it out bit by bit. Shout out that chicken though, guys. That waffle in that bite, that chicken. Mm. Wow. 
Delicious. There was also an option for some hot sauce to be put on this. I did go with the hot sauce and uh, George did just a little bit in his. And then of course we were trying to get the 60-ish dollar burritos for free. Uh, the also a free t-shirt. Man, I love that chicken. The cabbage. And yeah, so pretty cool. Um, pretty straightforward challenge, like we said, absolutely giant burrito. This is the equivalent of about six-ish, six to seven of the Dirty Souths. There's loads of rice in here. I will say that was definitely one thing I noticed. Very large burrito though. But the rice was really well seasoned and flavored. So I definitely appreciated that. I think we're about five minutes in. <laughs> Try some of this sauce. All these flavors were so complimentary. So with the rice, the fried chicken, everything was just really, really uh, well done, I gotta say. Uh, and the fact that they were able to roll these burritos, especially George's so nicely, that was, that's skill. I mean, I've personally never tried to roll a, you know, six tortilla, whatever burrito, but that looks tough. Try some of their salsa roja. Delicious. Right in, George. Good. Really cool place. Um, I did have the variety of different sauces there, and uh, stay tuned for those because they sell those things on Amazon. They sell them in the local stores, and uh, let's just say I'm going to have a bit of uh, conversation about some of these sauces. About seven and a half minutes making our way. Definitely a big sizable burrito. No shortage of food. The man is damn good. That chicken with those sauces, the rice, all the flavors in it. I definitely like it. This one I might be able to pick up. No, nope, not picking up. That's chicken though. Besides that though, like I said, super straightforward guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Um, let me know down below if you like chicken and waffles. I honestly, mm, I don't know, give me a hashtag team waffles or a hashtag no waffles. I'm sorry, I'm team no waffles. I'd rather just have my fried chicken and probably my waffles separate. But hey, in this burrito, I will take the chicken and the waffles because that was super cool. So with that, I look forward to reading your comments down below and let's get to the rest of the video. Now I can eat this like a burrito. Have some more of that delicious Big Daddy sauce. I'm gonna buy a bottle of that and take it home. That is delicious. I love getting the waffle bits in the burrito because it's just like a nice crunch gives a great texture
every time that barbecue sauce. Man, that's good. And we're coming on about 14 minutes in, I think. Get up, George, we're about halfway. I'll make sure we leave no doubt. I see we're down there just shy of 15 minutes. So George is doing real well. Definitely breaking into the burrito, I think it's a good tactic. But he's making ways, keep it up, dude. Super, super delicious, guys. Like I said. I've never had a chicken and waffle burrito, but man, would I ever recommend it. The chicken there, the seasoning is delicious. The coleslaw, the kale, with the chimney sauces, that bacon aioli, man, it is rich, it is savory. The rice is really well flavored. And shout out, because it comes, like you can ask, you ask slash get it on it. The, uh, the Roja sauce. They also have the rocket sauce, which was, I already had on it. But also this Big Daddy barbecue sauce. That stuff is dang good. I'm getting a bottle to take home with me. So we have about 14 minutes left. We'll tune on in. George continues to crush the challenge. Doing real well, dude. Tasting good? Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. So that, we'll tune on in and let's watch George get domination. It's good. It really good. is. That chicken is bomb. It's really good. All the flavors, the combination, went really, really well. Right, guys and we are about 20 and a half minutes in George is doing real well keep it up dude like I said let me know if you need anything we need more water another water yeah. happening spot here though I tell you super cool location with this patio and then there it is it's it's pretty busy pretty busy for an afternoon I'm impressed Beautiful location. And they make their own um, uh, ta like taco sized tortillas here. I guess they're also really well known for that, so that's pretty cool. George doing real well. He has pretty much all the uh, tortillas down. I would say he has less than one left. There are six. And then I would say he has maybe the equivalents of a burrito, a burrito a half in total with all the fillings. So he's doing real, real well. All right guys, so uh, George is gonna call it quits. Once played on the safe side, I don't blame him. Um, so with that everybody, huge thanks to everybody here at Lloyd's. Um, really, really cool spot. I really liked it. So it's pretty cool to see them progress from multiple food trucks to actually a couple brick and mortar locations. They got two, I think soon to be three. So um, yeah, huge thanks to everybody here. This is absolutely delicious guys. Like I said, I definitely recommend trying a chicken and a waffle burrito called the Dirty South. Dirty South, it's great. I loved it. 
crispy bits, sweet. That chicken was to die for. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, so that I want until next time. Um, I will get the meal for free, which is pretty cool. I think the burrito was valued about $50, $50 $60, something like that. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. And I also want to get a sweet t-shirt, some hat, and I think a hat for winning. So like I said, huge thanks on the staff. They've been super cool. Really hopping location for bar and then food. So until next time, Buffalo Staple. Say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating, and uh, that's what it, guys. Just have a lovely day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much. You rock.